them off to get some new tyres. Whoop whoop. How tight does my motorcycle gear feel? Oh, it's like I've got a girdle on. Well, it's been a long 14 days, that's for sure. I did nine nights in my tent because Covid moved in so I moved out not the best of weather to be having uh, new tyres but nevertheless it's a nice day to get out just to get out because lockdown is doing my head in I've actually got to uh, go and get my tyres done and then I've got to pick the wire spike up and take that down to Dave. Uh, I forgot that needs MOT in. Once uh, we are able to, she will want to get out for a ride. I can't blame her. I'm in the same uh, same mindset. So new tyres. What am I going to have? This is the question. Who isn't the biggest? Uh, range of choices in the world when it comes to the XE because of the 21 front but, uh, there's still uh, some good tyres out there for the Tiger 800 at the minute i got Scorpion Trails on which to be fair haven't been a bad tyre they did tend to uh, square off quite easily near the end of their life so you could spend a couple of hours in the twisties and pretty much recover 50% of that and round them back off to it soon go square again. So I haven't got far to go as uh, my local motorcycle mechanic, a lovely guy called Dave down at Warby Motorcycles it's not far from where I live so I've decided to go for da, 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 set of Avon trail riders it's not a tyre I've had before the uh, last Avon I had was a uh, Avon Storm oh, must have been 16 years ago we all liked the Avon Storms at the time because they had a, uh, a wear marker on them. And if you got a puncture before that wear marker was gone, they'd replace the tyre. As you can guess, there was a lot of replacements. Not due to accidental punctures. But they did seem to last forever. The grip wasn't the best in the wet. It just seems to last forever, like I say, that was 16 years ago. So, uh, I put a post up on the uh, Triumph uh, 800 900 page on Facebook a couple of weeks ago. What tyres would you get? And I was already thinking the, uh, the Avons before I put the post up. But it pretty much came back time with the same thing, everybody seemed to uh, be yee-hawing them. So that's what I'm having. And yes, if I'd have gone over to Wheelhouse in Kozil, I probably could have... Uh, I probably could have um, got them cheaper, but why should you get them cheaper? when you can support your small independent local businesses which is what I'm doing um, 
well, new tires are fitted. Quite like the tread pattern. But it needs a good wash. <coughs> Dave the man, lovely bloke he is. tyres on. I'm going to now pick the water spike up. Bring it back down for its MOT. Gotta love new tyres on a wet day. Always be the same on a on a works bike for me. That uh, at the point that I'd need new tyres, I'd pop to a factory to get new tyres and uh, pop in, get the tyres fitted, and when I come out, it'd be piercing it down with rain. And you think yourself, okay, I've got to scrub my tyres in, in this. I've got to say, it does uh, feel like a totally different bike as they do when you have new tyres. Not the best of days uh, to be out of the way, isn't it? Uh, I've been the on, that's not a bad habit I've got at the minute. I've got to get out of. Well, I spent the whole day yesterday cleaning my garage, which has become a dumping ground over the last two years. And uh, just got to a point of I can't get in there. And to be fair, it was only the fact that uh, I knew I was going to be coming to get my tyres and everything that I've actually made the effort yesterday. And I spent the whole day gutting it. And I now have a garage that resembles a garage. It's amazing how many things go, oh, that's where that was. Oh, damn, I forgot I got that. Oh, damn, I've been and bought some more of that. At times I could say that from yesterday. I'm the proud owner of about uh, 30 rolls of masking tape. I was going to wash my bike. But, uh, maybe uh, when I get back um, from MOT and Aylis, it might be nice enough to wash them and get the old uh, snow foam. I've become addicted to snow foam. I was watching a uh, young motor vlogger a follow JBL motor vlogging and uh, he was um, he did a video on uh, winter cleaning and uh, watched him snow foam his bike and I thought I want some of that so I went and bought the MacGyver's snow foaming kit well I gotta say it's worked out more expensive to wash my bike because I can't stop snow foaming. It's great shit, I love it. The old bike kit still feels a bit, uh, oh, a bit tight, you know, a bit tight. Well, bike number two. My wife's beautiful street trip on 765. Really need 
need to get uh, clean stuff on her header pipes. That's the jobs that we need to be getting on with. Oh, the pink missile. I remember the press launch for this bike. Amazing roads. The mountains uh, in Spain. And then we actually went back to that hotel, same place. About a year later to do the uh, dealer immersion because the roads were that good <coughs> so yeah on that particular press launch they would uh, I'd take them out in the morning my group for their road ride we'd end up at um, the track in Barcelona and then uh, they would have their track ride for the afternoon and then it was just a case of once they'd done their track ride, I'd become pit crew then, and tie warmers and what have you. And then they would, uh, always amazes me when I'm on this bike because it's pink. How many people think I'm a woman? How rude. Many years ago, my wife had a uh, Gixxer 600. I was covered in pink hibiscus flowers when I left this garage and uh, a mile down the road I ended up getting walk whistled so yeah they would have their uh, road ride in the morning and their photo shoot and then their uh, track ride in the afternoon I say when it came to the track riding bit I was uh, pretty much pit crew the uh, tyre warmers, making sure the press are looked after and they get the best experience they can possibly have. So you never want a bad experience on a press launch. I gotta say, four years of doing the old press launches, I uh, got to go to some amazing places, ride some amazing roads with some really cool people. I used to ride regularly with uh, Charlie Borman. And uh, Gary Johnson, Luke Stapleford, just to uh, name a few. Obviously, uh, them days for me with Triumph now are done. But, on my birthday, not only did I get a new crush helmet, I got offered a new work contract for 2021. Same again, back down to Dave's. So this guy's been working on my bikes for years and for years when I was buying uh, second hand bikes for whatever money I could back in the day I would buy all my second hand bikes from here as well and yourself I'll say nice to see you again I will do okay. see you later Dave See it? Yeah, oh. That's the MOT done. Always nice to have a catch up and a bit of a yab with people. Straight through, no advisories. It's always a bonus. This is definitely another favourite one of my bikes. Well, not my bike, but model-wise. They are an absolute weapon. 2017, this one. And uh, 2017, 765, the R was definitely a better road bike than the RS. That's for sure. That's pretty much because uh, at the time they, um, on the launch of this one, the R was supposed to be the road 
the road bias bike if you like so it was more focus for the road whereas the RS was more track so they fitted that with Olin's and the actual tune in the bike on the RS is all top end and uh, to be fair you're only going to use that top end on the on the track whereas the R like I say was for the road so they put the majority of the power in the mid-range and it just made it a much better road bike and obviously the R has got shower suspension on it which I always think uh, seems to be a lot better for the road the Olin's is I get me wrong bloody good suspension setup but uh, it's definitely uh, more for track it's always a lot stiffer well, harder, a lot harder I find to dial in for the road obviously the variables change so much so yeah 2017 by the R because it is a better road bike than the RS that's for sure and I think um, from end of 2018 2019 onwards I've got a feeling they changed that and the RS pretty much put standard tune across the bike and the mid-range was the same as the R well I'm nearly home but it's been nice to get out after being locked down for so long that's for sure but my lad's okay he's back to work today and nobody else in the household seemed to contract it my wife or my daughter and obviously I definitely wasn't because I was living in the garden so hopefully uh, soon we can carry on with a bit of camping I definitely need some motorcycle trips out for the day that's for sure because as I say it really does revitalize the soul so if you like the ramblings of a crazy old man and his dog without his dog today he's in there sulking and uh, please hit that subscribe button like and share show us some love until the next time Stay safe. It's a beautiful looking bike.